Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey man, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey man, y'all follow me to segment number four, which is the vocabulary word of the day. We got that coming up in about 10, 12 minutes. And we also have uh, my, I'm sorry, we have the idea of also calling the last five minutes of the show. Here's something funny, a funny story, and it's actually a cute story, and I, I love it so much. Um, there is, uh, there was an uh, accident, there was a plane crash, that's not what I love though. <laughs> There was a plane crash a few days ago, and uh, uh, they the 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 plane I guess, I guess it crashed into like three houses or whatnot, and uh, the people were okay, but they lost their cat, and they thought oh the cat died. Well, it turns out the cat the cat saw a plane coming in, it just darted, and it ended up hiding inside of the plane. You know how kitty cats get all scared. And they will hide where the you know the darkest place is that you can't find them. Where hide till they don't hear danger anymore. And they the, all of a sudden they were looking for him. I guess running around the neighborhood calling him. And he walks out of the plane. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Nine lives, huh? If you believe in that. But uh, there you go. Isn't that nice? I just love a good story. All right, y'all. So we got music coming up for you. Amen. What a coulda shoulda. I ain't played this in a bit. Here we go. I remember when the day was young. It all seemed so alive. On fire like the burning setting sun. Never stopped to ever wonder why. I remember when just the thought of you could keep me awake enough Driving the whole night through I couldn't think of anything but the taste of your love but The sweet pain you put me through Take a take from me to give to you Still I know it takes two to dance and I admit I chose romance Woulda, coulda, shoulda found my way home Woulda, coulda, shoulda gone straight Woulda, coulda, shoulda found my way home Now it's too late I remember when the day was young It all seemed so alive on fire like the burning setting sun Never stop, never stop to ever wonder why Are you listening to the music? Do you remember when We used to share the moment Is it still strong now as it was back then? Although the years have passed And smiles turned to miles Often I drift on back to think of you when while I'm watching the embers glow I feel it and I know Time is the one mistress that can't be held You gotta go, gotta go with the flow Woulda, coulda, shoulda found my way home I Woulda, coulda, shoulda gone straight Woulda, coulda, shoulda found my way home Now it's too late
like the burning setting sun Never stop to ever wonder why I remember when just the thought of you Could keep me awake enough Driving the whole night through I couldn't think of anything But the taste of your love The sweet pain you put me through The take from me to give to you Still know it takes two
Good news. Google Plus now has a community for Christians in business, and I want to invite you to join hundreds of other Christians in business find real solutions. Join me in a free and safe place to share your faith, your business, and your struggles. Christians in business community on Google Plus. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. We got the vocabulary word coming up in about five minutes. Up next, second time around by Neil Bryden. Turn my calls. I could use a friend right now.
Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Hi, this is Howard Glasper of World Outreach Healing and Deliverance Ministries. I want to invite you and your friends to come out to join us at our School of the Prophets and Prophetic Intercessors. For more information, visit our website at worldoutreachhdm.blogspot.com. Amen, amen, amen. Your commercial could be here also on Free Ad Tuesday. So send me an email to lutgradio at gmail.com. Send over the MP3 format audio. It's a... Send over me an audio and MP3 format. There you go. And send that to lutgradio at gmail.com. All right. It is time for the vocabulary word of the day. <laughs> I want to make you smarter. Make me smart all at the same time. Let's have some fun. Amen. All right. I'm in the Strong's Expanded Dictionary of Bible Words. Yeah. And on page 80, 885. And I am on reference number. Hold on. I'm on reference number 8446. The word is tor. Uh, the original word was descry, D E S C R Y. In Hebrew, the word is tor. And it means to meander, to trade. And it's, uh, the pronunciation is uh, T O O R. And uh, it means to meander or to trade, to descry. All right, so there you go. We just learned something new. Uh, how you spell it, it's spelled, you can spell it a couple of ways. Uh, you can spell it uh, T-O-W-R or T-U-W-R. All right, so there you go. T-O-W-R, tour. It means to describe, to meander, to trade, to wander about. Yeah, there you go. All right, y'all. So, um, we get more music for you. Another opportunity for salvation coming up uh, in the last five minutes of the segment. But until then, we have music, music. And definitely consider becoming an advertiser of LUTG Radio or becoming a partner. And uh, you can do that by um, basically contributing uh, at any amount. Uh, go to www.lutgradionetwork.com. Uh, and that click on the partner page. Right? Amen. Knowing what I know by Daryl Boyer. i 
And anything for you by Nikki Chris. Amen, amen. A lot of times we ask, so how come things gotta end? Well, new things gotta start. Oftentimes your kids will say, Why did grandma have to pass away? Why did grandpa pass away? Because it was just this time. Some something some things have to go away when new things come. And it's so surprising that in lots of families, especially large families, you'll see one person pass away and then all of a sudden a new baby comes. <laughs> It used to happen a lot when I was younger. I'd be like, wow. But uh, they do not share the same spirit, just so you know. God is not stingy. Everybody has their own spirit. Amen. For, let's see here, John 3, 16. Let's say it. 
Amen, amen, amen. But God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen, everlasting life. You know, my great-grandma uh, lived to be like uh, almost 100 years old. We say almost 100 because we don't really know when she was born because they didn't keep records of slaves back then. Um, even though uh, we were emancipated um, through Lincoln in 1863, uh, it didn't exactly get done. It was written in, as a law, but it, it wasn't done. And she was supposedly born around 1880, something like that, I think it was. 1880 something like that anyway uh so she's supposedly free but they still uh lived on a plantation um and she worked with her mom uh, in the kitchen uh, and they were ironing clothes i remember uh, her telling us uh, that she had burned a shirt one time and uh i guess the owner of the house he came in and he was like that's okay don't worry about it and uh you know it was just an accident she was a little girl and be, back in the day, they would uh, beat him senselessly for burning a shirt. Um, anyway, uh, so thank God we don't have to go through that anymore. Uh, Jesus, it's so funny, even with, um, even with slavery, Jesus rolls up, uh, 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 rolls up slaves. And uh, he had slaves talking to presidents. He had former slaves becoming educated and becoming uh, uh, heads of business and heads of state. God is awesome. He put it in their heart that you can do this. You can be free. Believe it. And the same thing that he put in their hearts, he put in your grandfather's heart, your grandmother's heart, and all those that came before you. Even from when Jesus walked the earth, he told them, you can do this. Greater things shall you do. That's what he said. He told us we'll do greater things than he. And he truly, truly meant that. And the one thing that, <clears throat> the, the one thing that Jesus wants for us so much, more than anything, is our salvation. Jesus said in John 14 and 12, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes me, who who, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also in greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And that's absolutely true. Everyone that has come after him, that has believed in him, has done greater works than him. So, Jesus wants a relationship with you. So let's get this started. So that you too can do greater works. Amen. Put your hand over your heart or raise it up high, your right hand or any hand that you have available. And say this prayer confession, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin, of all my sin. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today one wholeheartedly, one wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. <clears throat> and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Congratulations on Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, baptized in the Holy Ghost. And on any part of your body that is hurt or healing or needs healing, amen, lay your hands on it. And come in agreement, say amen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus was wounded for my transgressions and bruised for my sin. The chastisement, chastisement for my peace was put on him and the cross. And by his stripes, I am healed. God restores health to the body and heals all my wounds. God has set his love upon me and delivers me. God sets me on high because I know his holy name. I call on him and he answers me. God is with me in times of trouble. He delivers me and honors me and satisfies me with long life as he continually shows me his salvation.